Hey, good morning. It's a uh, Tuesday, November 16th. It's a little bit cold, as you can probably see by the uh, um, air coming out of my mouth and the cool temperatures. This morning, we're, we're still, I'm still talking about the gospel. And I think one of the greatest missteps that we've had in Christianity is to misunderstand the gospel. To think the gospel is only for a moment in time when you make a decision or you walk the aisle or you think life needs to turn around. That is an important moment, a vital moment. But that's, if we can find the gospel to that tiny little religious salvation box, we lose the power of the gospel. The gospel is for all of life. It's the foundation for all of life. The implications are for all of life. So we've talked about what is the gospel yesterday and then last night we talked about the unbelievable potential that the gospel unleashes for us to do what God has called us to do. To live as true image bearers of God and to just explode in this world with whatever God has given us. With what the world may seem as a small thing, to God is a big thing. So whether it's a big scale, small scale, whatever, it's what God has brought about. That's huge, that's important. That's important, that's important part of what God has given us to occupy and control the earth for his glory. But there's another side of the gospel. And it's just as important. When life is hard, only the gospel provides true hope. When life is hard, only the gospel provides true hope. It does that in three ways. In dying for our sins, God makes us right with him. That means I have security. So this first way is that I have security. I have peace, I have confidence. So when life is hard and circumstances are hard and they're tearing at me, that doesn't mean that I don't have security with God, I do. So the first is life, we're secure in Christ. The second one is that Christ lived in such a way so as to know everything that you and I have experienced and are tempted with. So Christ had to be made like us in every way and was experienced all the temptations that we've experienced. So first point, we're secure in Christ. Second point, our experience is Christ's experience. Because he's already gone ahead and experienced everything. Hebrews 2 tells us this. And then the third point, As Psalm 34 says, joy comes in the morning. Because of what the gospel has done, we have hope from the ashes. The, um, the thumbnail this morning you'll see is a scene from uh, the Kilauea volcano in, in uh, Hawaii, the Big Island. And you'll see the devastation that is brought by a volcanic eruption. And from those ashes comes life. So just these three simple things. What the gospel means is that I'm secure in Christ. I can be confident of that. Even when the really dark, hard things in life come, the gospel means that Christ is there. The second one is that Christ's experience is my experience. He knows my experience. He knows what I've been through. So therefore my experience is his. And he purposed to undergo the pain and suffering of that just so I could know to reach out for me. And the third point, joy comes in the morning. The gospel brings hope in our dark times, in our dark lives. 
I need that. I don't need it just for when hard things happen that are obvious, like when my wife died. I need it every single day. I need hope. Because life isn't very fair. Life is often very hard. But only in this little window of experience of what our senses tell us. There's this whole big world, as we've talked about before, the unseen world, where it's so much greater. So I have confidence in what Christ has done because of the gospel. I know that my experience has been Christ's experience because of the gospel. And I know that I can have joy as I face these really hard things because of the gospel. I can have joy. It comes in the morning. Maybe your morning isn't there yet, but God is committed to the fact that it's coming. And those, that's how we deal with the fact that when life is hard, only the gospel offers true hope. Not something that's gonna last for a moment, not something you get from a diversion or a substance or any of those things. Following your sports team or getting lost in music, as cool as all those things may be, or as negative as they may be in terms of substance mess, or turning to some other type of vile pursuit. Those things won't rescue. Only Christ brings hope. And that's the hope of the gospel. Hang on to those three things. And again, so great to have you here today. And Lord willing, we'll see you tonight <clears throat> where we'll talk about more of what the gospel means in our life. Check us out, everydaytalk247.com. Uh, you can see a great resource list there of good books and resources. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. Turn on post notifications. These videos will come right to you. And rest knowing, live this day knowing that the gospel is the only true hope that we have when life is hard. Thanks again for being here. And Lord willing, we'll see you tonight. Have a great day. Bye-bye.